Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and today in my this particular video I am going to complete the Hadoop distributed file system architecture for Hadoop 1.x ok so already in my previous video I started discussion on HDFS storage architecture for Hadoop 1 and we ended up with this particular discussion and that is if the data in the distributed file system is a book then our name node is nothing but table of content which we will be using to find out the actual content in the book and our actual content is nothing but stored in data node okay that is data node is nothing but the place where actual text of each page is stored okay right so name node is nothing but acting like a pointer or a reference to the actual data which is stored in data node right with that I concluded in my previous video and now in my this particular video I am going to explain some more concepts related to this Hadoop 1 architecture ok so see so this was our earlier discussion right suppose one client came and uh, they want to write 100 MB of data and as by default our block size is 64 MB so this 100 MB of data will be split into two blocks 64 MB and 36 MB different blocks will be started writing in parallel fashion and once in the first data node the blocks are written in parallel fashion then from the first data node it will be going to some other data node based on availability for replication factor and the replication will happen from one block to other block in sequential fashion right like here is one block once in, this is copied in the first data node then it will be copied here then once it is copied in second data node it will be going to third data node like that similarly here this is one main block present in first data node right once this is complete it will be copied to other data node as a second backup okay then once that is done sequentially it will be copied to one more data node okay or some other place as a third replica like that it will work right and i told you that name node is basically master node and single instance present in our hdfs cluster which control the metadata okay what is the information about data node in which data node which block is stored all the metadata informations about the cluster is managed by the name node right so now the problem is if the name node fails the entire HDFS file system is lost. That means name node is nothing but the single point of failure for HDFS, right? Like for example, if you are having a very big book and the front page where table of content is present, if I take away from the book, then finding the actual content will be very difficult, right? And same like that, if the name node, which is a single instance present in a cluster, if that fails, then our whole HDFL file system will no longer be accessible, right? So name node is basically single point of failure in our HDFS system, okay, right? So to overcome that, we need certain kind of backup functionalities and this kind of thing. So how it is implemented in Hadoop 1, that's what I am going to discuss, okay, right? So you just consider this initial picture. So suppose the current time is 8 a.m. And just now the cluster is started in production system. Okay. So one name node is there, four data nodes are there who are sending the heartbeat with three second interval using secure self protocol. Okay. Right. Now suppose one client comes and they want to write 100 MB of data, it will request to name node. And based on availability of data node, name node will share the different data node locations to client and client will go and write the 100 MB data which will be split into 64 MB and 36 MB into different data nodes right like for example after replication this becomes the figure so you can see that this particular black partition as well as this red partition have three replicas so this is one particular snapshot of our cluster okay at a particular instance which started at 8 AM okay now the question comes how name node will store the metadata of the data nodes and different blocks okay so to understand the storage of metadata in name node there are two terminologies will come into picture one is fs image another one is edit logs so what is that 
let me discuss okay so if, as you can see here here in name node there are two things fs image and edit logs okay so atm cluster started so when the cluster started both fs image and edit logs has no value obviously just now cluster started right so no metadata information related to cluster these two are having so they are completely empty now when the cluster started at 8 am after that client came to write some amount of data that 100 mb of data and when it is replicated in three different data nodes then what will happen the metadata information will be copied in the fs image as well as same metadata information will be copied into the edit logs okay so what you understood that when client want to write something it will request to name node name node will give different data node once the replication is done in different data nodes the metadata information for this particular client will be stored in both places fs image as well as edit logs okay right i hope up to this clear so the metadata information related to client request will be written down in fs image and edit logs of the name node okay now these two are having the metadata information same information they are having okay right now comes the backup part i asked you right that what happens if the name node fails due to some reason or if name node goes down so for that the backup functionality now i am going to explain okay so after 1 hour when the cluster starts okay or after 1 million transaction whatever happens first okay either 1 hour completes or 1 million transaction happens before 1 hour itself whatever will happen first then our backup functionality will come into picture and there comes another part which is called secondary name node okay so in secondary name node also there is something called fs image okay initially when the cluster started at 8 am 8 am to 9 am okay suppose you consider 1 hour completes okay and so 8 am to 9 am 1 hour is over till that time this secondary name node fs image has no value okay but this name node fs image and edit log has same value right now as 1 hour is over so what will happen this particular edit log what is present in name node will go to secondary name node okay and secondary name node has some fs image currently it is empty because just now the cluster started and one hour was over so first time the edit log is coming so what will happen here the secondary name node has whatever fs image that will be combined with the edit logs which is coming from name node okay that is this kind of activity will be happening secondary name node is already having some fs image and this edit log is coming from name node they will be combined and the combining process is happening via checkpointing okay in interview process it is asked what is checkpointing so checkpointing is basically that process where the fs image and edit logs are combined and create a new fs image okay so in secondary name node what will happen that as one hour is over so for backup purpose whatever is stored as logs in the edit logs in name node it will be reaching to our secondary name node and with the old fs image and edit log it will be combining via checkpointing and will be creating a new fs image and new fs image will be sitting in the secondary name node okay right so basically you see secondary name node has this new fs image okay so we can say this is the picture at 9 am okay so what is happening i will tell you again continuously whatever client is making some transaction those are getting updated in fs image of name node as well as edit logs okay and after one hour that is 8 am cluster started when it is 9 am then these edit logs are reaching to secondary name node earlier secondary name node has no fs image like it had fs image but in fs image it had no data now that fs image and this edit log whatever is reaching from name node are combining and creating new fs image so we can say at 9 am name nodes fs image and secondary name nodes this new fs image are same only okay and now as this edit logs are basically merged in the secondary name node this particular edit log will be erased from name node okay so see name nodes edit log will be erased after checkpointing with secondary name node so at 9 am 
we can say this is the clustered picture okay so name node fs image has some transactional data whatever ha happened since 8 am okay right it has no edit logs because already name nodes edit log is merged with secondary name node and secondary name node also has a new fs image which is perfectly same as of this name nodes fs image okay right now suppose at 9 10 am okay another client came okay 9 10 am another client came and they want to write some amount of data then the metadata of the cluster but wherever data got replicated whatever data node was used for fulfilling that particular client request all the information will be entering in name nodes fs image as well as here also edit log will be created okay so this edit log will contain what information it will not contain information since beginning since 8 am whenever cluster spinned up it will only contain the transactional log since 9 am okay because from 8 am to 9 am whatever edit log was present in name node that was already merged with secondary name node right okay i hope it is clear to you so new edit log is generated which will capture this transaction information whatever client is requesting at 9 10 am okay so what is happening i will tell you again the picture so this is at 9 10 am continuously since the cluster spinned up in our production or development server the all the transactional data are reaching to name nodes fs image okay right and the transactional logs will also be coming in this edit log of the name node okay but this will contain only the information from 9 am onwards okay not from 8 am to 9 am okay then again at 10 am when one hour will be over or we can say if 1 million transaction happens first then this newly created edit log will be merged with the fs image of secondary name node and it will create another new fs image will be overwritten here using check pointing okay like that it will happen so fs image in name node will be always updated and edit logs will basically store the latest information it will not have historical data okay i hope you are getting it right so that way suppose at a particular instance the name node goes down what will happen the hadoop admin team will copy the fs image that is logs the cluster data node information all these things will be copied from secondary name node to name node for recovery process okay right that way we are doing backup but still there is a problem i will tell you what is that problem suppose i started at 9 am okay so at 9 am what happened basically when one hour was over from 8 am to 9 am this edit logs of name node was merged with secondary name nodes fs image created new fs image right now at 9 10 am okay one client came to write some amount of data in this particular uh, cluster okay and suppose while writing the data it is already 9 35 am okay right some amount of data is written and some writing or replication is going on okay so 10 to 35 am one hour is is not over yet okay but suppose the name node goes down then what will happen the secondary name node don't have the data whatever was whatever logs was generated from 9 10 to 9 35 right so that information we will lose although not complete thing we will be losing because secondary name node has still 9 am information so we can easily do backup but 9 10 am to 9 35 am whatever transaction happened whatever logs was generated in this name node when it goes down as that is not merged with secondary name node so we cannot get back that thing okay and this particular problem is overcome in hadoop 2 architecture which i am going to cover in my upcoming videos okay so for this particular video i hope you are clear what is fs image what is edit logs what is secondary name node okay right what is checkpointing all these questions are asked in big data related interview process so if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos see you in our upcoming sessions thank you